Hello and welcome to the lecture. All right, so let's go ahead and do the combination of the two for the points and the layer binding. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave my bones in there. They, oops, no, I'm not because they already control something and I wanna control it myself. Okay, so let's try that again. So just add in our bones there. Okay. Looks like everything's kind of controlled at the moment. Let's make sure it's not. So I'm just releasing everything. This is called releasing the uh, layers and points just to make sure nothing is still controlled by anything, okay? Because I'm not gonna be using the bone strength. So I'm gonna turn all of that off. What I am gonna be using, like uh, we already know, is I'm gonna be using my layers and my points. So let's go ahead and let's start with this first shoulder here. Let's say I want to control the whole shoulder with a layer, okay? So I have that. Let's go Alt, right click. Let's go to this part, part, part here. I'm actually, I was selecting Alt or B on the keyboard, but you can also select Alt on the keyboard. Um, and that's another way you can select things. Hold Alt, uh, oh, it doesn't show it there. But you can also select Alt on the keyboard. I was hoping to show it in my tooltip, but it didn't. Okay, so let's go to this one here. And with this bone selected, I'm not only gonna select this bone, I'll bind that, but I'll go back to this layer. And with this selected, I can select more points from other layers. So I have my, oh, you know what? This one takes dominance over everything. Let's go ahead and take that off. Okay, so there we go. So I have to do this kind of correctly, but I'm going to, with this bone, not only control everything in the forearm, but I'm gonna control these points right here. It'll come out with a really weird effect. I'll show you how to use this properly in a, in a later example when we actually go to rig our character. And let's see what that does. Okay, so see, as you can see, it's not only moving those points in the forearm, it's actually moving those points as well that are connected to the forearm. So for example, if I wanted to take that and not only add just those points, but add these as well, you can do that. If I hold shift and I select everything, it should, yeah, there we go. It should select everything along with the points that I had before. Because when I went and I made the new selection, it actually took away from this older selection. Let's go ahead and go back to our bone layer there. And when we go to manipulate this, there we go. So you got this weird effect. So that's not ideal for what we're trying to do right now. So basically an easy way to show an example for this, we'll get into other examples later, but I will just go ahead and I'll control that, a layer binding. I'll go to this bone and I'll also control that with layer binding. So both of these are both controlled. Okay. They should both be controlled by layer binding. Oh, you know what? I went to the wrong bone. So alt right click, select the forearm and then select the layer. Okay. I apologize. So what I did is I went to this layer first, the arm left layer, alt right click, and I selected this bone to control this layer for layer binding. Then you're going alt right click, go to this bone. This is basically when it's highlighted like this, this is telling me that it's going to be controlled by that layer. To uncontrol it, all you have to do is just click off the bone. But to select it for that, for that bone to bind this layer, all you have to do is just select the bone. And let's alt right click and let's not only use uh, uh, let's not just use bind layer, let's use bind points for this for this subject here. Okay, oops, let's see what's going on there. Let's try that again. Selecting that layer with alt, or so, sorry, selecting that bone with alt, making sure I'm on the hand layer. I'm gonna bind those points. There we go. So as you can see here, I have the arm and the forearm bound by layers and I have the arm, or the hand, excuse me, I have the hand bound by points, okay? So that is a combination of both worlds there. You have your, you have your layer binding and the arm portion, and then in the hand you have your point binding, 
Okay. And this can come in handy for other things. It's not really going to work for this particular rig of this arm here. But I will show you where we will be using the combination of all of these, really, when we go to rig our character. All right, so that is it for this lecture and for the binding. So now that you have the general understanding of how to bind in Anime Studio, we will then go through and apply later, in later courses, we'll apply everything into our uh, main character, the Lumberjack. Um, but for the next section, I am going to cover the bone structure of what's called inverse kinematics, IK, and how it all works in Anime Studio. Because that is really important to understand. Uh, we'll go into bone parenting and how all that works. So stay tuned for the next lecture, and I'll see you there.